Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been quite some time, two, two and a half years. A little bit older, a little bit grayer. The reason for the delay is the transition that we've made. We are no longer in Vermont. The channel is now coming to you from North Carolina. So this video is just kind of touching upon where we've been, why we left, and what made us choose where we are in North Carolina right now. To start with, leaving Vermont was not an easy decision. When we bought the property, we poured our heart and soul into fixing that place up from what it was to what it became. And I truly thought the end of my days would be on that property. That said, COVID came along and changed a lot of things for a lot of people. My wife lost her job and it was definitely not going to be coming back. Um, as far as I know, we were down here for almost a year already before they had reopened the store that she had worked at. Um, my job at the time was a great job. I worked for the state of Vermont, loved my job. There was already talk of closing down buildings. We're not going to need as many guys anymore. And being as I was one of the last people hired, I felt I was going to be one of the first ones to go, you know? So there was talk of me possibly being able to move up within the state. And after COVID, it was, hey, you may not even have a job. So with that, coupled with the way Vermont as a whole kind of runs itself, I'm not going to get into it, but let's just say all of my values don't completely align with some of the governing bodies of Vermont. It became a push, and I think the final nail in the coffin was when they talked about me not being able to keep my job, possibly. Uh, we had to make some decisions. That said, we are here in North Carolina now. How did we get here? The first step was my son and now his wife had moved into this area about three or four months before we chose to really pick up sticks and, and get on the road. And he only had great things to say about how the economy was down here, how everything was already up and running again, and the opportunities were tenfold what they were up there. So uh, me and my wife packed up, took a road trip, came down here, and he wasn't lying. I mean, as much as Vermont was peaceful and it had that qu its quaintness to it, you also were limited in your abilities to have access to a lot of things. We got down here and anything you could think of was within a 20 minute grasp, whether it was food, automotive, any business that you could possibly think of is within a 15, 20 minute drive of where we live. So that coupled with doing some quick groundwork once we got down here, the ability to secure some work before we even drove back up to Vermont. All those things kind of came together and uh, we, we made the final decision to, to sell. So, where are we now? We're down in North Carolina. Where in North Carolina? We are about mm, 40 minutes north of Charlotte. And we are actually in Mooresville, land of Dale Earnhardt, uh, race city as they call it. Everyone down here that I've met so far, whether it's work related or just someone you bump into on the street, has been super friendly. The job market is fantastic. I still see some of the same issues that we saw up north in terms of people not being able to fill positions for some reason. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm not sure what everybody's doing for money, but there are still some empty spots. But overall, the economy is much better down here. Um, the other take on it was the weather. I didn't mind the snow so much. 
I grew up my whole life in the Northeast. My wife, on the other hand, spent a good part of her life in Florida growing up. And as much as she loved being up there, was not exactly sad to give up the snow. But we still do have our seasons down here. And that was kind of the limit of how far down south I was willing to go. I can't live and not see the leaves change and not at least have the hint of, you know, maybe some snow. Where we're positioned in North Carolina also gives us the ability that we're two hours from the mountains. And if you go up to the mountains in like the Boone area, it almost looks like you're back in the mountains of Vermont. So that was nice and it was comforting. If you want to drive east, two and a half, three hours, you're on the beach. So North Carolina did have a lot to offer in terms of geography, in terms of the economy, and in terms of part of our family had already come down here. Since then, my other daughter is down here. My other stepdaughter is down here. We are happy with the move. Um, I think it's been a success. There was, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Obstacles in the actual move that had to be overcome. We had to get past getting everything down here. Uh, my wife and my daughter had all three dogs and a bunch of furniture crammed in their car for the ride down and then got a call halfway down and said, you know, we still need paperwork signed or we can't close on your house. So we weren't even sure we were gonna have a house to get to when we got here. But everything panned out. She was able to sign all the papers that day, and the next day we got in, and as a whole, the move down here has been a success. What's coming up in the future? Well, we got a couple things that we've been thinking about. We've had a lot of time. It's been a couple years. A lot of stuff has stayed the same. You'll pan around, you'll see the same Jeep that was in all the videos. You'll see my motorcycle. You'll see a new motorcycle. We want to do some reviews and talk about some stuff about the motorcycle. Got a review we're going to be doing on some pants, some comparisons between 511s, some Pranas, and some Fjall Ravens, a couple handgun videos. And just because we left Vermont and we left our property, we didn't leave behind the dream of what we wanted with our property. So we're actively and currently still looking for a place to start our new adventure, our new farm. Hopefully you guys decide to stick around and see where it takes us. I know it's been a while. I appreciate your patience. Cheers.